M0FXP, welcome to my channel. Let's have a go at loading HD SDR using my RTLSDR.com dongle. So I'll put the link in the description. Go to RTLSDR.com and scroll down. You've got this one you can load, but we're going to go for this one here. HD SDR free software so the quickest way is to actually click here can be found here and you get all the instructions now you've got a couple of things you need to download one is Zadig which is how we're going to install the driver and I'll show you how that works in a sec and the other one is let's find it again M the main program which is here that this is the main program so keep that and run that or discard it for now and then the really important one is the RTL28232 DLL file just a small file that you're going to need to copy and paste into the installation folders so show in folder and then just copy that somewhere so once you've um, got that file I'll just show you where to put it go to your files here go to your probably you'll be your C drive you know where it was installed so if we go to the C drive here go to PC my C drive is full go to the C drive go to programming files look for HD SDR which is here look double click it and then drop in that file I've already pasted it but that file that you download you drop it in here. Once it's in there, everything's going to work. Okay, so the Zadig, how you run that is, got the dog here now, so Zad, Zadig, just fire mine up. All you do is just do this step one step at a time. Let's find it here. Now, if this is it here, go to options at the top when the dongle is plugged in, list all devices. And then just go here and select bulk interface zero and then click here, install driver, and it will install it. Once that's done, go to the other one, bulk interface one, click install driver. So the main place you're gonna be looking is is on the on the PDF. All your links are there. All the instructions are there. And then double click the HD shortcut. Right. So once you've done that, um, if you want to double click a few things, we've got it running here. SDR device here. If you want HF, select 2048 and Q input. That's what you want for HF click out of that got a lot of adjustments here but you can double click the waterfall and you can hear there it's sounding pretty good you've got the frequency here you can change so lots of things to do waterfall speed spectrum have a little play I've literally just fired this up you can stop it like so Start, obviously exit at the bottom, sound card selections, bandwidth, you've got other options here, all sorts of stuff here, select input, we've selected the RTL dongle, mouse wheel options, cat, TX, and with this, this hasn't got TX, but you can get ones that do TX, so I think it's pretty good. So check it out, let me know what you think. 7-3, all the best.